sorry. Fix my headphones. 24 days away from following you for one year. That's crazy. Good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Hi, everybody. Do you like the title, Rexa? W Riz and to Doki Doki. Hi, Silent. Hi, Snoop. Let's go. Luke, you'll be my anime girlfriend. <laughs> Perfect. Big bro. Hi, my wonderful, amazing friend. No, you? What? Come on. I hope you guys can hear the music. Okay, good. I was like, I didn't even check if it was working OBS. But how is everybody? <laughs> I forgot a drink. <laughs> I just started. Did you have a run in with more children lately? The weird sayings and words? No. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, big bro. No. Yeah, do you not see everybody on the internet talking about Riz? It means I got game. Wherever it takes me, I'm down for the ride. <laughs> yes, the kids are. I have so much Rizzo. <laughs> That's what it means. It means I got Riz. Okay, is anyone, can, I, can anyone else confirm that that's what Riz means? Cause I like to prove that it does mean that. What do you think it meant? No, it's all good, QT and you helped motivate me. Good. Good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. <laughs> I can only imagine what you thought it meant. I can only imagine. Thank you, big bro. Good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Baby, I'ma have the best fucking night of my life. Ever it takes me, I'm down for the ride. Good, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back though. I'm gonna grab my drink. I'm not, I'm not gonna put the BRB screen because I just started. So I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back. Okay, actually, I do have to use my VRB screen. I know, Jerry stream was pretty cool, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt. Hi, Harmful. What do you mean, what am I wearing? It's a big old comfy shirt that like goes Really big. Why? Is it? It's not bad. Why is it an odd thing to? What's wrong with it? Hmm. <laughs> 
Ay, no. Max, so what? Nothing's wrong with the shirt, though. It came in a pajama set. <laughs> I have pajama pants, but I'm wearing shorts with it right now. But. I think you can get out like Kohl's, big bro. How's everyone's Friday? It's like blurring out my bag. It's like you can't, it's like if I'm not sponsored by the brand, it has to be blurred out. No. Add a bowl of cereal for dinner. I still have it right here. Okay. I didn't have time to make a decent dinner tonight. Hold up. There's a, wait. Wait, hold on. There's a, there's a playlist for songs to sing in the shower. Let's see what's on it. Eating something is half the battle. Ooh. I mean, this is a good one. The last bush is my lurking spot. Ignite the light and let it shine. The night like the fourth of... I can't sing that high. Baby, you're a firework. Someone love me what you work. Make him go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone like an actual Katy Perry fan? This is. Let's go, girls. This was up next on the playlist, and I needed to skip to it immediately. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Gonna let it all hang out. Feel the voice. Scream and shout. We'll jam out to this before I switch over to the game. I... Naya is the best. I... The best thing about a being a woman is the prerogative to have a little fun. Oh, 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 totally crazy. Wear short, short skirts. Oh, 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 oh. And I did oh, oh, oh. If you don't think I don't know this whole song, you're wrong. Right. Let's go, Lucky Charms. It's so good to have you in, my friend. It made me so happy to see you in QT stream. How are you doing? Feel, man. I feel like a woman. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
I just wanted to get to that part before I turned off the song. Now we're going to play Doki Doki. You're brilliant. That's fantastic. Right. You in Warzone? Let's go. <laughs> it's a good song. Okay, Lucky. So can someone put in the command for content warning? You should be singing this in Warzone right now, Raxa. Thank you, Asylum. So, this, Lucky, I'm just warning you, this game gets pretty disturbing. Same, big bro. Ah, I want to go line dancing so bad. This game, you laugh. I hope... I need to. I need to experience that. We should have Raxa. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you understand. Got it. Oh. Is she okay? Is she? That's rough. Mistakes were made. Understood. Oh. She loved him. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> She's like, this game is even better. <laughs> That's so freaking what the heck. Okay. Um, this is, we're going to be finishing the game today. So no spoilers, please. I've not played it. I just know it's disturbing. Oh my gosh, Lucky. <laughs> As a parent, you're like, I'm glad I didn't scar her, but also, did I just... What? Huh? You know? You're like, mmm. Okay. Alright, we're gonna pick our poem and we're gonna go on to the next day, alright? So... Um... Some dark themes here... Um, let's see. We're trying to more go for Natsuki, I think. So, Vibrant. Nope, that's the wrong one. Dream. Okay. Pink. Okay. Um, Kawaii is definitely her. Um, Breathe. Okay, nope. Uh, <laughs> if I pick Q, I don't know if she'd move some music. Um,. What does Doki Doki mean in Japanese? I'm curious. Okay. Uh, swimsuit? Like, I don't. Bliss? Sure. Candy? Um, universe? Oh, okay. Raindrops? Okay. Bubbles? Big bro, no, I'm not. I have to I have to move on, right? The game doesn't really give me um it doesn't really give me a choice, you know what I mean? I feel like some of these words are really weird. We'll, we'll do lucky for lucky charm. <laughs> I know, big bro. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. <laughs> Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Bryceus. I actually didn't know that's what Doki Doki means, but that's cool. It is cool. Kind of sad, though. You know. Anyway. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, 
But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. Yeah, but... One of their hearts isn't beating anymore. Yeah, comfortable, not like there was a huge fight yesterday, right? About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've been only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh... Rhysius? Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Right, the Riz! That's what I'm saying, big bro. I got these girls blushing, come on. Um, not anyway. <laughs> have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Thank you, Lucky Charms. I appreciate that. Ah, don't be weird about it, Roxa. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday. I... I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh... Uh, Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but... I want to see what it says in the history. Hmm. But, but... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> N no, not at all. Lucky, no, you're very kind. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Awkward, right, big bro? I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Sorry, my ear itches. Not in the future, in the present. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Matsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> I 
What took you so long anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at all, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of a dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Aw, well thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. <laughs> That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Her heavy metal piano, right? Probably. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Briseis. Monica smiles sweetly. I love how like the other girls disappear. Monica's just like leaned over and smiling at me. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. Monica's been practicing a song for me. Whoa. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. See, that's what I'm like, hmm. In that case, best of luck. <laughs> she booty bumped them, right? Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already has already run off into the into the closet. Briseis. Um since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after all after you gave me wait. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave me that book that gave that book to me. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys know. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! <laughs> she, Yuri's like, she's fine! She is... She's fine, don't even, don't even worry about Natsuki, you know? She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much! <laughs> She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Yuri, that's mean. That's mean. I didn't like that. That was in brood. How now, brown cow? Brown chicken, brown cow. That's what Big Bro saying. Right? I don't like that. What's the story about anyway? Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. How now, brown cow? Oh, how now, brown cow? Where is that from? How now, brown cow? The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Booper, nooper, goober. Booper, nooper, goober. Oh, what? Huh? Okay. Hi, fat boy. How are you? Joey says it. Okay. How now, brown cow? <laughs> gotcha. Can't lamb. Welcome and you've not missed much. We're, you know, on our last day of playing this game. So, there's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. QT! Smelly cat, smelly cat. Chalk, you'll be my anime girlfriend? Thank you, I appreciate it. Basically, it's about, oh. Basically, it's about this. Sorry, I'm not doing my. Yuri voice. Hero, I love you, and I hope you had a good stream. What are they feeding you? <laughs> exactly, Lucky Nose. Just finished season 10 of Red vs. Blue. Jeez, I don't even know what that is. I hope it was good, Caitlin. Yuri, were my number two. How could you do this? You're breaking my heart. I love you, Kirotakos. 
Dang it, Lucky. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into human experiment prison. Gotta get in the character, exactly. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. We already know what Yuri's into at this point, so... Shocker. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixating them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. You think? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck? But anyway, I'm really into it. <laughs> The book, I mean. <laughs> Yuri, we, we see you. We, we know about the knife, you know. N not, not about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Who... Well, who would know anything about that? Who would know anything about that? Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Briseis? No, it's not that. I mean, you can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. Oh, I can definitely. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. No, I'm not a serial killer. Exactly, big bro. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body go. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, lucky. Yeah, that's good. Okay, it doesn't let me read that. I don't read that fast, you know? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. No kidding. And please stop me if I start talking too much. I feel that, Yuri. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. <laughs> the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Hi, Rika. I don't know why it's not... Playing. Look at all those chickens! I think that was pretty good. I think that was good. Oh, Fatboy tried to play it too and it didn't play. Interesting. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, Yuri. Uh, that's... Look at all those chickens! Is that good? No. I don't speak in that range. See, big bro, yeah, exactly. Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> I don't think I could do that ooh again. <laughs> Kiro, this game is very dark, and I have a feeling that it's gonna get dark, like, and in moments notice, I don't know, but I'm just warning you. 
I'm not doing another uwu. I'm not. I'm not. No, y'all like it too much. You guys are weirdos. <laughs> I believe in you. Thank you. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Yeah, no, no, no. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Let's just get the book. Not even for a Scooby snack. <laughs> I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right. Is it fine? It's fine if I sit here, right? Kitty, thank you. I don't I just don't want it to be bad. All right. Caitlin, no way. Are you, like, joking? Like, it's not really your favorite thing, or it's... You like that? <laughs> I can't tell. I s slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you can't post links here, can't Lum. I open the book and I start and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. No, that's okay. It it doesn't show up. That's what I'm saying. Don't don't apologize. I just do that because like there's sussy people that will post like weirdo links in here, you know, and we don't want those. So if you want to drop it in the Discord. Right, that's also true. Don't, big bro, don't make him actually think that though. This is gonna confuse people. But, um, you can, you can, but you can also post it in the Discord. You know what I mean? It's as if as I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Okay, I'll leave then. I am the weird. No, big bro, I am the weirdo. Here. <laughs> Have you seen me? Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of, huh? Did y'all just see what she said? <laughs> Did you guys? You didn't see? She was like, I was just bathing in like the warmth of your body or something like that. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. But I won't be able to see that in the history. I just... Who doesn't bathe in the warmth of someone, that's what I'm saying. So I just read it really fast, big bro, but not my eyes were moving faster than what I could say out loud, right? Yuri, you don't really- you do- you apologize. Ugh. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? <laughs> oh, not what I was thinking. I thought she was talking about when she borrows your pen. Mm-mm. I- I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. Yuri, I feel, I, f I feel, uh, same. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk, desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I, I suppose so. 
Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. I know, it's getting serious. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Accidentally touching hands. I'm right. Apparently I'm moving in fast, guys. This character's got some game, I gotta say. I've seen this play before, right? Uh, I do the same with my right hand on the right side of the book. The way I turn that way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. Cute. She got nice eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh... <laughs> to turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet, <laughs> of course. A good eye. I don't think I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. We're turning the pages over here. Uh that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Cute, right, big bro? Hot. <laughs> y yeah. My character is stammering all over the place, guys. It's funny. Thanks. We continue reading. Take note of her eyes. Oh, well, pretty. <laughs> right, learning new moves, right? Write these things down, guys. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn in my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate ex exchange. My, th my thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... Main character remind kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh no, I forgot my book. Can I read with you? And... Page turn together? Exactly. Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. <laughs> Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So, I don't think that... I, I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Uh... Yuri's been a bit fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyway, I, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Rhysius? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. 
So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh. No, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. I'm trying to read this story, I'm sorry. Oh, not it. <laughs> Gross, Faxi. Ew. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Uh... Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? <laughs> I will be done with this thing. How long do you think I'll play, like, later than usual? Like, I'd rather not if I have to. Sometimes I'm thinking about... Um, <laughs> now that you say that, now I think it's gonna be before something bad happens. But, um... If you, if you just think about the stuff in the game, like, you're like, oh yeah, like, this game can be disturbing. There's been no one new here, so I think everyone he right here that's chatting is familiar, so I don't think there's a need to put it in. But, um, if you ever feel like it hasn't been brought up in a minute, and someone who doesn't know that the content can be a little sensitive, you can bring it up if you want. Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. <laughs> She's liking the wrist too much. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh no, I guess not. Natsuki. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. She looks a little jealous. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So, it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably learn something from it. Okay. Vicious, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. I didn't choose to read with Yuri Natsuki. It's the game and I didn't get to pick. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? And you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Briceus, do you? I don't fucking like this. Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. <gasps> ah, that's all I have. Play with me. Oh my gosh, guys. I, can't, I don't even know if I can take this seriously. Play with me! Fucking shit. <sighs> I think the 
lucky. <laughs> and we're blending happy little trees. <laughs> what the fuck? I wonder who I should read my poem to next. Hi again, Bryceus. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. <laughs> I'll take that. Are we just gonna act like that didn't happen or like? Okay. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy you're still applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, Briceus. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Same. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Big bro for real. Chiropractor is needed. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes, I get the impression she's totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with, lots of, with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. Indulged? In kindness? The fuck? Okay. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Okay, silent. Uh, already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating. I don't remember that word. Waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing... Oh, that's new. That's new. Playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Okay. Endless. Poem of meaningless. Interesting. Okay. That is a new rendition of that poem. Lovely. Yes. Anyway, so we're just gonna keep reading like nothing happens in this game. That's weird. Monica. Okay. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. Oh, did I miss it? Did I miss something? Am I able to go back? Ah, fuck. I can't, there's no back.
Oh. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, but Caitlin, I don't have the time for that, to be honest. I'm just trying to, um... Is there a back button and I'm not seeing it? It's history, skip, autosave, load, settings. And that is autoplay. I don't see back. Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm just gonna read. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Just for no reason in particular. Who am I talking to? Okay, I don't like this. Can you hear me? Tell me, can you hear me? Anything? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Right, big bro? We're like, uh, great advice, 11 out of 10. For no reason, I'm saving the game, right? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I don't know if I like that y Yuri likes me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I like that Yuri likes me, honestly. I just like holding it. Uh, I mean... <laughs> the poem turned out good. It's, uh... Sorry. I'll try to get in my character's voices. We like Yuri? Mmm... Do we? I don't know if I like any of these girls. They are all nuts. Okay, anyway. She's no Monica? Okay, yeah. Anyway, Monica is also. Anyway, it's a. Uh, well, there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. I know, big girl. Find me a girl who isn't. <laughs> it feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear, gearbox, falling sky. Seven holy stakes, a docked ship. A portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled is slipping by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning. A prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living, living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks faintly 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to an, the existence of a docked ship to another, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, 
breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. I should be anyway, time-wise. Thanks. Hey, no worries, Natsuki. Fam, that's not, not a problem at all, okay? <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. I know, Faxa. Um, like, 10.30 or 11.30? Like, do I have one hour or two hours left? My, my mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a, a pen that fell out, on your, out of your backpack yesterday. So I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I, I just really like the way that it writes. <laughs> okay. So I wrote this poem with it. Um, would someone mind giving Natsuki fan a brief synopsis of what's happened so far? Um, so I can continue reading. I'm sorry. Okay, see, Caitlin, that's perfect. I don't know what that means, so act two. Sayori is gone. Yes. Okay. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I I'm okay. What did I just Can we pretend this conversation never really happened? Love you, QT. You can keep the poem though. I have unlocked a special poem. Would I like to read it? Of course I would. Of course I would. Um, QT, I love you and get some rest. I'm so proud of you for going to bed at a decent time tonight. Very good, very good. Can you hear me? <laughs> I did not like that. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. Nope, 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 nope. Like, where's Outlast? You know what I mean? Like, creepy dude in the basement, come back for me. <laughs> the game just laughed, Caitlin. That was not me. Okay, everyone. My background? What the fuck are you talking about? If you know, please don't mention that voice clip. Dang. <laughs> Man, I just peed my pants. Big bro, same, I just peed, so. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, Natsuki fan, I sound alerts aren't working right now. I'm so sorry. I'll be returning points for anyone that used it. Let me try something. Oh, hold on. Was that Sayori's laugh? I thought that was Sayori's laugh. Yeah, the poster's great, Natsuki fan. I'm really trying not to look at it. Um, let me see if I can fix the sound alerts real quick. It's not working. I don't know 
why. I'm sorry, guys. But I was blind, I, <laughs> I see it, right? Anyway. Oh, okay, I'll I'll do that later. I, mean, I just want to get through this game. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Actually, let me check my phone. I just want to make sure that no one needs me right now. Okay. Right, big bro? We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. It is, welcome in. So, Saka? Is that a good nickname for you? Saka Rum... Mav? Rumav? I had, right, I regretted it as well, big bro. Sure, Saka, cool. Welcome in though. And this is my first time playing, I'm on Act 2. Natsuki fan, it reminds you of war and PTSD in a good way. Okay. Alright. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a bit more lively ever since Bryceus joined and we've started with some club activities. This isn't really the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. Thank you, no spoilers, I appreciate that, Saka. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Bryceus? Uh, ugh, oh, come on. You can't really, ta you can't take advantage of Bryceus to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. <laughs> yeah, Raxa. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Bryceus joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Bryceus isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Bryceus want to get more members too, right? Yuri doesn't say anything. I don't say anything. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. Nothing more than a, few a place for a few people to hang out. Oh, sorry. in the parking lot wants kind of a douche loud engine 12 inch size spoiler dumb exactly big bro 
Get all the, get all the girls. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Ricius, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in this club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Bryceus. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and rocks right out the classroom. Uh, a cupcake? I exactly can't let what I mean. Monica, you bitch, don't take it from her. <laughs> right? This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the, the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Right, can't lum, exactly. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decisions that's right for the club. What about you, Briceus? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. Same, big bro. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is that for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each... Um, okay. Weird. Her eye was bleeding. Okay, I don't like that. With each change in member... The... Okay. The identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. No, I don't share my real name. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Uh, um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. But Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. No, Caitlin, I'm sorry, I don't share, um, 
a lot of like actual information about myself for privacy and safety reasons. Right, big bro? Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Bryceus? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Bryceus before we leave. Just to say what he thinks of his time here and all. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, well, thanks for understanding. It's important to me as president. Yuri doesn't say anything. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. Well, it's not... Yeah. Yeah, the song. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri ex exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? <laughs> I did. Bryceus, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. Things are getting buzzy, guys, and I'm not a fan. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do... Oh, I don't like that. Sayori said that to me. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know... <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, no, oh, because all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about you with, about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, no, not yet, no! Uh... We're gonna go for something different. We're gonna go for something different. Um, we're gonna go for... How we feel right now. Anxiety. I like sunsets, actually. I like that. Crimson, I feel like that's blood and that's like Yuri. I don't know. Socks are cool. Um, I'm not feeling joy. Mm, I feel kind of like that right now. Uh, let's go with anime. Yeah, we're in an anime game. Um, wonderful. Sure, why not? I like puppies. Puppies are cool. Childhood, like my childhood friend who's no longer here. Calm? I wish I was calm. Interesting. Laugh. I like raindrops. Journey. The fuck? Did you guys see that down there? Smile. Hopeless. Hmm. Infallible. Charm.
Mm. Art. Adventure. Star escape. Feather. Fireworks. Agonizing. Um, love. <laughs> okay. Anyway, hi, Bryceus. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to... Ugh. Is she really late again? Consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But now this isn't something we're doing. I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki... Um, what? Rude. Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Natsuki, obviously, like, shocked. Aw, oh, she just made Natsuki cry. Why the fuck are you so mean, Yuri? Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again, aren't I? Oh, sorry. I, I, I added extra words. You guys know what I'm saying. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Bryceus, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Rude ass bitch, that's what I'm saying! Big bro, what the fuck? Uh... Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Bryceus is already engaged in the novel that we were reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into the literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, uh, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Y'all, I don't want to read with Yuri. She really did. She really did. We had hints, though, big bro. There were hints, for sure. You know what I mean? Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. Is there one thing that... If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands her up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she re small, retrieves a small pitcher of water from the shelf and the kind with a filter inside. Thank you, Cantlem. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me a water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I sim simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the pitcher of the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yellow Big Road covered in red flags, right? Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, 
Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Hi, chat man. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. How are you, my friend? Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Monica was ready to swoop in to get me, you guys. Swooping in. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Kinda already know the habits that Yuri has, right? My Friday was actually pretty good, Jatman. Pretty darn good. Yeah, getting ready to call it a night. I feel that. Are you excited for the weekend? I am happy for the weekend, personally. I'm just bored waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Let's see. Jatman, just a reminder, this game is very disturbing, okay? Lots of weird things. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Okay. Just gonna... Ooh, good. That sounds fun, Jatman. Spend time with the lady. I don't like how it's going either, silent. Ah... Uh, 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 what's that noise? Coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Oh, <sighs> like that? I didn't read it that way. Are they in pain? Yuri's definitely fucking cutting herself. I just fucking know it. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. No. Okay. Anyway. No. Yeah. This game is a bit too predictable. That's why I didn't. <laughs> I don't have a Doctor Who and D and D sounds like a good weekend to me. Absolutely. Yuri, I'm back. Weirdo. Thanks for patiently wait for waiting patiently. Bryceus, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature of the kettle on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> uh-huh. In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea levels. Big bro, same. Yuri is... you <laughs> To my surprise, she even starts humming to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed? Hold up. So she's like all of a sudden in a good mood after she just did that to herself. I... Mm, okay. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. It turns out, it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who, who's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Briseus. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Right, or you can do a little less. <laughs> Briceus, I have another request. You mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, my, your posture, right? 
Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Posture, yes. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. My personalities make it hard to say. Can't them. I retreat the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. You and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we resume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I didn't know this tea was supposed to be red. Oh no. Oh no. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to fin finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the paper, but on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time from reading from it. Just feed Yuri real quick, right? But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's, Yuri is already focused, totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. Raksa, you called it. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me and needs to confirm what just happened. I got game, what can I say, right? Right, big bro, that's why he got you. That's why he got you. Uh, um... Briseus. S sorry I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Briseus. Suddenly, Yuri... Forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup get, gets knocked over. Briseus. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Briseus. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Briseus? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Ah! <laughs> Fucking shit. <sighs> Nope. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's time to share poems. <laughs> Fuck. What? I mean, not Yuri. This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's. Yesterday's anyway. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking shit, okay. Um, I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not spent really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But let, just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Okay. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here for a few days, so you might not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive. Things like that. Okay. This is really... Embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Briseis? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. You had me at cupcakes, right, big bro? Uh... Okay... <laughs> no, thank you, big bro! Who am I supposed to pick right now? Who am I supposed to pick? I don't want to pick any of these jokers right now. Like, no, thank you. Help me! I don't know, should I- What if I don't listen to the game? Will he do more scary things to me? I don't really want to talk to Yuri after she like, weirdly breathes at me earlier. <laughs> I don't like it. Rysis, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to tell you, have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's kind of getting dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Interesting. <laughs> Isn't that kind of messed up? Yes! She 
even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. No, anyone depressed in this game? Nah. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. <sighs> it might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. What the fuck? Okay. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Put it lightly. I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway. Big bro, I am the reason. So, <laughs> I tell Sayuri that I love her, and she kills herself, and then, um... I'm a decent, nice person to Yuri, and she cuts herself, so, like... Right, Silent? I worked really, really hard on this poem, so... I hope that's that it's, uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Who should I show my poem to next? I don't know, probably the person that I just was warned not to go to. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my, holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Bryceus, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure. I, I don't care. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really trying to read it how I'm imagining them read it, okay? So please do not judge me, okay? Because that's the kind of creepy laugh that I just imagined, okay? Y'all don't fucking judge me, okay? Gosh. You're too nice to me, Bryceus. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I can't read it. Hey, I can't. I can't read this like how I'm imagining in my head. Seriously, like, does that make sense? So the whole time I'm reading this to you guys, I'm trying to read it how I'm re how I read it in my head, right? Like how I'd imagine this if it were, you know? I, I it's really hard to keep like serious when this fucking stuff happens. Okay. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. <laughs> I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ah, fuck. Okay. You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Uh, I don't... I don't think I can read it. Ugh. 
Is there a way, like, am I able to? Is it just really hard? Oh, okay, cool. I love the blood on it. It was, that's a nice personal touch, Yuri. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it is this too creepy that I do it like how the voices are in my head? That's weird, right? I'm that I'm being extra. Okay. In case you couldn't tell, your poem is about No, it's perfect, do it weird, okay. <laughs> Why was there a yellow stain? Ew. Big bro, I don't wanna know. Snoop, just in time. More importantly. Oh! That's what that. Oh no! Big bro, that's what that yellow stain was! <sighs> oh my gosh! I can't even read that out loud. Y'all, I don't even know if I can keep reading it. <laughs> See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. You? You're gonna vomit? <laughs> yes? No. What does that mean? <laughs> Poopy Snoopy, right? I, at least I didn't miss that this particular moment. <laughs> Y'all, what the fuck? Yes or no, what? Oh, it shows me anyway. Cool. A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they need to tell a joke at that moment. Okay. I was just like, no. No, silent. I couldn't do yes. I didn't know what it was going to do for me. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Briseis? Briseis is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. <laughs> right, well, look at that. It's time for CSGO, right, big bro? Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know? All you care about now is dragging Briseis around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, 
I didn't even do anything. Okay then, why not let Bryce decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not... abusing my power. Yes you are, Monica. Girls, girls, you're all beautiful. Like, they're all fighting over me. I don't like it. I really... I don't want... I'm ready for this game to be over. It is getting fucking, fucking creepy. Anyway. Just let Briceus make the choice, at, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Briceus, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make your choice, okay? Oh my gosh, guys! <gasps> no, 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 no! It doesn't let me take anyone but in. Ah, the girl is shush. No, sad. Don't say that. That's how she. Is that the atmosphere she's talking about? I was dragging it down. I was trying to move it up to pick Natsuki. Yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Monica, you're really creeping me the fuck out. I don't want you at my house. Is Sunday okay with you? No. Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Briceus for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Ah. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Briceus away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? What the fuck? <sighs> it would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Do not leave me alone with Yuri. Okay, can someone put a content warning? Because it's about to get real weird. I can just tell. Thank you. A little what the fuck. Is that too much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Briceus. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Briceus. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah. Wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die. I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen. Fourth wall moment here. I'm wondering the same thing. I just put a warning, Cantlum. Don't worry. 
Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. We just put a warning, Caitlin. Okay? But, yeah. It's, you just, you're spoiling stuff. That's, yeah, it was, a warning had just happened. Everyone is aware. Exactly, Snoop. Exactly. Anyway, sorry. I'm trying to keep reading the story. Um, that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Bryce. I feel like she's going to kill me or herself or something. And I don't. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Oh, okay. Feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't like the heavy breathing in this. You're liking where this is going? I'm so glad, Snoop. I'm so glad. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Bryce, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself whoa, with the pen I stole from you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Oh, my gosh. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Bryceus. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> Bro, even worse. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared what's gonna happen now. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. How am I supposed to keep breathing? Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Uh-huh. Snoop, don't enjoy it too much, okay? Yeah, okay. And, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 I'm just waiting for it to go away, so we're just gonna click, click through all this nonsense. Yep. I don't know why this part is so unnecessarily long. Anyway, so um, what's the weather for you guys? Just keep clicking. It's pretty cloudy. Do you like it when it's cloudy, Snoopy? What's the weather for anyone else? Oh, dang. Okay. Right, I sure miss basement guy. Right, thick bro? <laughs> Dang. Do you see what it says? Spend most my will you promise to spend most the time with me? Will you promise to spend most time with me? Snoopy, I don't even know.
More monologue than a super villain, that's what I'm saying. We're just gonna keep on clicking through. Like, how long do I have to stare at this image? Okay. Stop, Snoopy. Don't. Yeah, she just told me she loves me. That's how much Riz I got, you know? She, I have so much Riz that she couldn't live without me. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Like, I'm giving you, like, it's a joke. You know what I mean? But yeah. Totally see how that title would be super awkward. <laughs> the days are going by. Oh, is that what happened? You're so she cute, she would, could die, right? Apparently. You fell in love too hard, that's, yeah. I would like to point out I wanted to pick Natsuki, but I have a feeling that any girl that I loved would die at this point. Um, just as I was afraid, they took away Sayori from me. Now, Yuri was crazy. Um, Natsuki got a little weird before, but like not like this kind of weird, you know? Oh, Poopy Snoopy, you missed it. She, um, I told her that I love her, and we were finally a couple, and then she killed herself, so. Second one, Snoop. Second one. I'd hate to be the janitor for the school, right? What the fuck? Something similar to this, yeah. goodness okay okay isn't that rad, right, Poopy Snoopy? So fucking dark, so depressing. So what's up, everyone? What's everyone up to? What's the 411, guys? Tell me. Right, did anyone catch that football game yesterday? Yeah, I didn't. I'm just making conversation now. That's just something. Yeah, um, who are you guys rooting for in the Super Bowl? E clicker, here we go, right? Oh, like in my server? Oh, yeah, I do. Exclamation point Discord. 
Anyone watching? What's that? What's T-L-O-U? The Last of Us? The Last of Us? Is that what that means? Yeah. I haven't seen the game. I haven't played the game, so please no spoilers. How is your Riz serving you at the moment? Alex, welcome in. Not sure if you're familiar with the game. It's kind of dark. Please, content warning. Please, content warning. Um, killer Riz. Actually, Snoop, I love that. That's fucking hilarious and horrible at the same time. Oh my gosh. So I'm just clicking through this scene. Thank you, Raxa. Alex, um, this is really dark. Um, but yeah. Also, it should be almost done now. Thank you, Snoop. Are you familiar with this game? Or do you just have a feeling? Oh, no wonder you've been all like, so anything funny happened yet? Got it. Alex, are you familiar with this? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I hope I've done a good job reading this game to you guys. And I hope you guys have um, enjoyed my reactions and not been annoyed by my obnoxious commentary. So what, it doesn't, they don't come until Monday, huh? I feel you, big bro, I'm sorry. It doesn't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but if I go to history, this is the only thing that it says. Will you promise to spend all, spend most of the time with me? You promise to spend all of, like most of the time with me? That's what Monica says. Laura. We exactly. What the fuck? Thank you, big bro. Yeah, it'll be Monday for the festival, right? I think my arm is getting tired of clicking. Isn't she? Yeah. Wow, you got here before me? What, we just pretended it didn't happen? Sorry. I thought it was perfect. Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Okay. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Rysius, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. 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 Ha 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 ha. Well, that's a shame. I'm gonna guess you'll need the thing we talked about. Yes, big bro, thank you. Can we get another content warning in, please? I don't know, that's probably too soon, I don't know. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Bryceus? Thank you. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I don't wanna do that.
She deleted Natsuki and Yuri. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from which tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just really had to have one. Since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Finally. Cupcakes, right? It's just the it's just text saying character files were deleted. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. I should have noticed. No, because I was going to help Yuri, right? Yeah, I just deleted the files. I mean, I just deleted the characters. I'm sorry I didn't read that. I, didn't, I forget my camera's up here. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Hey, there you are. Hi again, Bryceus. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class classes last year, and um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. Snoopy, that made me sad. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Bryceus. I'll try to stay serious as this because I just can't really. It's <sighs> Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware of this and I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little less awkward for, you know. Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her. And I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh. Been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah. I guess she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it'd be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. Right, <laughs> right, Bit Snoopy? But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent you from her t from confessing to you and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too it just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you what kind of cruel game is this Bryceus are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines it's torture Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Bryceus. It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be understand you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. 
And worst of all, knowing that's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Briseis. But now you're here. You're real. I loved you, Arthur. Aw, unknown, thank you so much. That is a very amazing piece of positivity that I think we all needed during this very weird game. Content warning. This is a very disturbing game. I do not want to ruin your bad mood. If top it, if... Uh, ah. Unknown. Unknown is a great person. Please shout out Unknown, Raxa. Okay. Thank you. So that's a content warning, Unknown. Let's show some love to our friend Unknown and um, Unknown if there are sensitive topics and imagery, please. Okay, okay, cool. So you know. Blakey boy, what's up? Guys, I'm about to finish up this game, I think. I don't know. You know how it ends? Cool, okay. Of course. It's cool, right? Mm. But Blakey boy, it's good to see you and welcome back. <sighs> okay. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Briseis. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? Rude. The Riz is gone. I just came back from France, missed you. I know, you told me. You came in. You came in the other day. You've been gone. For, you've been out for a while. Now I'm kind of. This game is kind of having me trip up. Was I? Did I imagine that? Is this real? Are are, are we real? Like I'm questioning things. What is real, Raxa? I'm kind of like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm like deja vu. How is real? <laughs> when is real? Stop, please don't. I need some like, I need some grounding right now, I think. No worries, Blakey boy, you is real? I don't know. Unknown, I don't know who is real. You is real? I don't know. I'm not real, same. What if real life is Monica simulation? I knew it. We're in a simulation, guys. Okay, I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitably etched into this game. I felt really bad, bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew we'd get over it. So that being said, Briseis, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. Shock. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you are here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Briseis, will you go out with me? I, there's no other answer. I don't want... I don't want to go out with Monica. Monica though, Raxa, I've not, mm -mm, not from the beginning. Caitlin, no. Silent, did I thank you for the bits? I didn't hear it. Thank you so much for the biddies and big bro. Thank you for 20 gifted subs. Oh my gosh. I wish my sounds were working for you guys. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. 
Silent, no, no, no. You guys don't need to do this. I don't even get sounds for you guys. Thank you for the five freaking gifted subs. You guys are too nice. Thank you. I guess I have to go out with Monica. I'm so happy, she says. No hype. I'll play the sounds in a minute. I'll fix them, okay? You really are my everything, Bryceus. Thank you, big bro. Um, I think I just need to redo my sound alerts. Like you said. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ha ha ha! Blakey boy, thank you for the tickle biddies. I appreciate it. It's not. That is weird. But thank you guys so much for the freaking hype train. Let's go. Choo choo. It's not. Okay. Thank you guys. Blakey boy. No, 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 no. Thank you so much for the five freaking gifted subs. By the way, I know everything has been kind of in a fog, but congratulations again on um, getting married in November. Welcome to the Space Jam. Oh wait, um, what was the gifted sub sound? It's down and 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 sexy saxophone music. Yeah, sexy jazz saxophone. Yeah. Okay, Monica just did a weird laugh, like a ha ha ha. Okay, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. No, silent. Thank you so much for 10 freaking gifted subs. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Right? Weird. <laughs> it really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Bryceus. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to wake make one myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Blakey Boy. Thank you guys so much for all the hype and the gifted sobs. You guys are insane. Thank you so much. <sighs> The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it actually it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, directory I had to go into the game properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of thing if things didn't go my way. <gasps> You're not real? I knew it, unknown. I knew it. Too nice. Ah! Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Hey Q, welcome in. I'm just picking an old poem, you know. Hi again, Bryceus. Did you write a good poem today? 
Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, uh, Briseis. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost fluid finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. Truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. Does look different, doesn't it, Q? Monica is crazy. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. Right, the galaxy background, real cool, really cool. Sure. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Briseis? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on for a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Fucking shit, no. <laughs> Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not, this is not, no. <laughs> uh uh. That's fucking creepy. It can tell because my camera's on. Is that what that is? Like, it's. It, oh my gosh. Do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to, be, to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Okay, this is... She's gonna, like, go through my profile on Steam and, like, tell my personal stuff. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Fuck. Yeah, you did. Ah ha ha, you're so cute. Anyway, Briseis, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I don't want to look at her eyes. Can this end? Do I just keep clicking? When is it over? <laughs> never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I have a friend whose Steam profile, like, there's a more info link on their Steam profile, and it's actually a Rickroll. Classic. Classic. I love it. Okay, everyone. It's time to 
I'm just kidding. I'm, I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't that Suki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> Monica's brought up some interesting points. Absolutely. <sighs> Big bro. No, thank you. I just want to thank you guys again for the freaking hype train. You guys are amazing. Thank you so freaking much. I'm sorry the sounds aren't working, but we'll get those fixed, okay? I click out of this. I don't know. I just kind of. Did she say? Did anything you say? No, not really, Caitlin. Should I like or not like Monica? I don't like Monica personally. You know, I really do think you literally saved my life by being here with me, Bryceus. I can't imagine having been able to keep myself mentally stable knowing that nothing here is real. And congrats, excuse me, sorry. Um, congrats, Reb Rebster, for your gifted sub. I think I would have just deleted myself if you didn't show up. Sorry, I don't mean to sound dramatic or anything. <laughs> but I'm sure you understand yourself after spending so much time in the club. I mean, if you were forced to abandon everything in your life and spend your eternity with a few game characters, you'd probably find some way of killing yourself, wouldn't you? Well, maybe you'd write some poetry to try to keep yourself sane for a while. But then you'd have nobody to even read it. Let's be honest. The club members don't really don't count for something like that. I mean, a lot of people say they only write for themselves, but I think it's hard to say it's just as f fulfilling as when you share with people. Okay, Caitlin. Thank you. Nope, I said it last time, she's the devil, not the fun one, right? Even if it takes time to find the right people to share with. Like, remember how it was for Yuri? Wixie, welcome back. Did you got gifted a sub? Congrats. She didn't share her writing with anyone for a really long time. No worries, Wixie, no worries. Thanks for lurking, I appreciate that. And before we knew it, she was absolutely delighted to make you a part of her hobbies too. We're programmed to desire social feedback. I don't mean the club members, I mean human beings. Catch this. That's why life can be so confusing for introverts. <gasps> That's the cutest thing. You guys have like a virtual handshake deal. I love it. That's so... I love that. Like a... Twitch handshake. But I need... I need to do that. Okay. That's why life can be so confusing for introverts. Being an introvert doesn't mean you shun social interaction and hate being around people. It means social interaction, especially in groups or unfamiliar places, uses up a lot of energy. Like a lot of introverts sit at home and feel lonely and restless. And then when, they're finally, when they finally go out, after a half hour, they just wanna go home again. I am working on a Twitch high five. Don't where you get that card from. I think if more people could understand how it works, they would respect it a lot more. Many introverts do enjoy having people around. They love just having one or two close friends over and just leisurely hanging out. That is my ideal way of hanging out. Even if you're not actively spending time together, it feels nice for them to just have you there. I'm serious. 
If you just go to their house, bring your laptop, and hang out there for a while, you can really make their day. Why are we going into this? Like, what is the Trap card was super effective. Hardest thing when streaming, what the fuck is chat talking about? True. Put my six hearts of heart of. Put my six of hearts in defense mode. <laughs> As for me, I'm kind of in between, but I think I'm usually a little more extroverted. I feel like I'm always trying to do stuff after school and things like that. But for you, I can be anything you need me to be. I understand people really well, so don't be afraid to share your unique needs with me. Nothing would make me happier than being the perfect girlfriend for you. So... Monica is sus. Right, Wixie. <laughs> right. Chat is a party that's also on fire. Don't worry about it. Since I'm not drinking tonight, I still want to do a cat flip. <laughs> Yahtzee, wrong game. <laughs> Ripped the monitor. <laughs> it hit the, um, camera. <laughs> Thank you, Silent. You know, I've always hated how hard it is to make friends. Uh, basically. <laughs> No cap, right? Well, I guess not the making friends part, but more like meeting new people. I mean, there are like dating apps and stuff, right? But that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you think about it, most of the friends you make are people you just met by chance. Like you had a class together or you met them through another friend. Or maybe they were just wearing a shirt with your favorite band on it and you decided to talk to them. Things like that. But isn't that kind of inefficient? It feels like you're just picking at complete random, and if you get lucky, you make a new friend. And comparing that to the hundreds of strangers we walk by every single day, you could be sitting right next to someone compatible enough to be your best friend for life. But you'll never know. Once you get up and go on with your day, that, that opportunity is gone forever. Isn't that just depressing? We live in an age where technology connects us with the world, no matter where we are. I really think we should be taking advantage of that to improve our everyday social life. But who knows how long it'll take for something like that to successfully take off. I seriously thought it would happen by now. Well, at least I already met the best person in the whole world. Even if it was by chance. I guess I just got really lucky, huh? <laughs> oh, Monica getting real creepy. So like... <laughs> relatable? Mm, what was relatable? I'm like just awkwardly, I'm like resting my chin, I'm like, hello. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> Shall we spend eternity together, Monica? Meeting someone that's okay? Oh, yeah. You know, it's been a while since we've done one of these. So, let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know? As someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me when people think that being good just comes naturally. <laughs> Roll the credits, Monica, right? That's how it is with everything, not just writing. Monica to spend the whole literature club with Monica. Your whole life has led you to this moment. Oh, okay, Caitlin. Been streaming for almost a year and this is what I get. Oh, man. 
When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you feel really proud of it and even want to share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something and then you realize it sucks. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach right for the stars, they're always going to be out of your reach, you know? The truth is, you have to climb up there step by step. And whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten. And then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So sometimes it can help to set the bar a little lower. To try to find something, to find something, wait, try to find something you think is pretty good, but not world class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still amateur, you'll never get it done. All roads have led you here to the Literature Club to Monica, just Monica, just Monica, just Monica, just Monica. <laughs> Why not try some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general. You can really focus on one or two things. It's such a good learning experience and stepping stone. One more thing. Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. What is the point? What is the point of this? And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything, it's built on thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I just want it to be over. I mean, I don't know what's there to help. I just keep clicking through, right? Until it's over. Right? There's something I can do? I am going to save, though. <laughs> okay. Never mind. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask, what made you consider even playing in the first place? Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you. But I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end. But I guess, uh, oh. I got to meet you and you're not lonely anymore. Mmm... No, I'm not, I wasn't lonely. I'm just now creeped out. But what, Raxa, what do, what do I do? I don't want to be here anymore. It's the thought that counts. I think y'all need help. I'm so happy we have this ending together. What? Okay. Raxa, will it ruin the game if Cantlem gives me a, hu a hint? Will it, will it ruin the game? Hail. She deleted all my anime girlfriends. And and they all killed themselves. And I'm really... I'm trapped in this game and I can't get out. <laughs> it's really... I don't like it. 
He tried to save, that's the th oh, okay. She deleted all my anime girlfriends, Snoopy. <laughs> okay, yeah, two of them, all, two of them killed themselves and one of them deleted, uh, was deleted. I hate to see it. <laughs> I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habits seem impossible. It just makes you feel loose, useless, like you can't do anything right. Don't. Hell, no. <laughs> Easy way out, oh my gosh. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a totally different skill set Set different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly, but we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 20, 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. Okay. Okay, can't love. If you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, um, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Hey, mine and Monica's backgrounds match. Oh, okay, Cantlum. Yikes. Ugh. <coughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. Hey, do you like horror? No. I remember we talked about it a little when you first joined the club. I can enjoy horror mo novels, but not really horror movies. The problem I have with horror movies is that most of them just rely on easy tactics. Like dark lighting and scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. It's not fun or inspiring to get scared by stuff that just takes advantage of human instinct. But with novels, it's a little different. Story and writing need to be descriptive enough to put, to put genuinely disturbing thoughts into the reader's heads. No kidding. Wonder where did she get this idea from? Caitlin, that was the best way to get that hint pops to you. So can I just like leave the game? Can I quit? Hit click, quit. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, he pulled it, but now we pew pew, right? Okay. I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now that it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Bryceus, I don't know if you would have any idea. But if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? No, I want to quit this game, Hale. I want out of here. Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Now, where was I? 
I know it's why I closed the game. I know it's because I closed the game. Hey, do you like horror? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> hey, Elle, don't, don't be mean, please. Imagine she said something. If you got budget internet. Do it again for what she did to say. <laughs> One second. Okay. Hale, I think they kind of did it, like, via manipulation. Like, I... I <laughs> you just gotta do a quick return to sender. Yeah. I'll be right back, guys. No, Caitlin, please, no more hints, okay? I'm back. Sorry, guys. Okay. This game is so weird. I do not like this ominous music anymore. I appreciate that, but I don't, I just don't want to ruin anything. I don't know. Okay. So... Okay. This is, this is, I don't know, this game is... Okay. Alright. So... The Steam Files... 
But she deleted the other characters. Do I have to like delete her? Is that that's it? Right. Okay. It doesn't let me go to main menu anyway. Help. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Monica, though. Q, of course I do. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it on theme over here with the game. Over here. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, that's pretty simple characters. Monica is the only character left. Right? I just deleted. Yeah. Bryce, is what's happening to me. It hurts. It hurts so much. Ah, oh, fuck. Help me! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, that's weird. <laughs> Delete Monica. <laughs> Hale's like, I agree. Did you do this to me, Bryceus? Did you? Did you delete me? Ugh. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Bryceus. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Bryceus? You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. One of the most unique ways a game character could die, for sure. I still love you. Oh, go away. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? Burn her bones with salt so she can't haunt you. How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? 
Thank you, Silent. Monica, though... That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Briseis, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. Naruto pain? What does that mean, Hale? I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then the game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. <laughs> what a nerd! No, you. So... Is it over or do I play? It's a new game. Hit load to, and see what happens. I thought I was ending though. I thought this was like about the time I'd be ending. Okay. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I'll always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. My heart. <laughs> Hey, Briseis. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Suri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You can cruise past anything that looks familiar for time. Okay. You did? Creative, no way. Briseis, are you proud of me? For what? You know. Waking up on time. <gasps> well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. I know, big bro, I said the same thing. <laughs> it's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Crazy game, creative. Tell me I'm near the end, please. You know what, I'll be right back, guys. Just ignore, but I can't. I'm saying, 
Tell her I don't know her. Say that I don't know her. Every time she come around, someone else adore her. Come and say, baby, say so. Baby, say so. Baby, say, baby, say so. Baby, baby, say so. Tell her I don't know her. Say that. Okay, sorry, I am back. Okay. As we draw near, the streets becoming increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Okay. Well, I thought I was on a time crunch um, because of like some things that I had for tomorrow morning, but those things actually might not be happening. So I'm good. Um, thank you, Q. Um, I'm right there. Okay. By the way, Bryce, yes. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Oh, sorry. I told you already. I'm really not... I start to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I'm not, actually. <laughs> but something tells me Siri would take more offense to that now. After all, I could tell her that the clubs are a waste of my t of time. When she's starting a club of her very own, Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. If I know anime, Truck Hun is about to strike. Boo. You meanie. Oh, I miss Sayori. She's so cute. Welcome in, sweet. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Suri puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. Suri is precious, isn't she? So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I packed up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. Right, a flyer. Not past memories. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. <laughs> Anime club. <laughs> Hello? Ah! Bryceus? Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Uh, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Bryceus that Siri is always talking about. Natsuki. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Yuri? It's a pleasure to meet you, Bryceus. We're the literature club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. 
The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's ni nice to meet you both. I look forward to working with you. Well, working? Rysius, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. Yay. No way! I, uh, I don't want to get my hopes up. Don't feel joy. Don't feel joy. Don't be happy. Don't do it. I only get heartbroken. <laughs> Hi, Natsuki fan. Welcome back. No way! No way! Ah! <laughs> Suri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, if Suri is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. Oh, you, you got deleted. Matsuki fan, welcome in. <coughs> Big bro, right? <coughs> that means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all... Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! But welcome back, I'm glad you're not deleted anymore, Natsuki. Natsuki fan. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone, sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? I haven't heard that one before. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Sorry, guys. Sounds are not working still, Natsuki. I'm sorry. Nope, she's back. My hopes are not up. My guards are up. My walls have been built. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll try to fix it soon. I'll try to fix it before my ice stream tomorrow. I just won't be able to fix it today. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know why they're not working. I won't have time to troubleshoot until I'm not streaming. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <gasps> Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolates were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. I did get rid of Monica. What do you mean? Bree's walls are like bossing say exactly, big bro. Oh, why are my walls up? Um, because, because I... I can't let my heart get hurt again, okay? You know? <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Suri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Suri walks, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. I have a heart? Dang, Natsuki fan. Same reason my walls are up in real life, right? I don't usually stream this late. I mean, maybe on Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays. I It depends on my energy levels, to be honest, if I stream late on Fridays or Saturdays. This game gave us trust is issues, right? You lost that a while ago. Like stream-wise or personally, Snoop? Um... I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have anything like actually planned for like 
Valentine's Day. I don't stream on Tuesdays, so I won't be streaming. I did learn to like Natsuki. I did. I don't- you don't work nights anymore? You start at 7 a.m. instead of 2 p.m.? Oh, nice, Blakey boy. You're still driving, though? How has that been? Um... Yeah, yay! Um... And then, personally... I mean, my husband and I have to work. So, I don't think we have anything... Planned. Like... We're just gonna hang out, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be like a normal Tuesday. Maybe we'll make like a nice dinner. But we'll see how it goes. I have like a gift for him and I have a gift for my kids, so. Big bro, it's overrated. I agree. I'm not a big, like, I, I don't need like, I don't need... Chocolates and flowers, you know. I tried to pursue Natsuki second, but the game kind of didn't let me, and I picked Yuri. Or it went towards Yuri, and it went really badly. Right. Are you gonna move over there, Blakey boy? How is that gonna work? I'm glad it's been good, though. I'm glad that change has been good for you. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Great, I also went Yuri most of the way and um, yeah, yup. Aw, that's really sweet, Blakey boy. Carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, th that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles herself in relief. So, Briceus, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Okay, Snoop. Huh? Wait, what? Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly, myself half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she doesn't want to say something, but she keeps quiet. I'm not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite things are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy world worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Sorry, this is my third time reading them. This, so I'm like kind of over it. She was on some sort of vacation. <laughs> Hide. What? I don't know why you need to hide. Is she scary? I don't know. Anyway, and telling a good story in such a foreign role is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. I feel you there. <laughs> your, sis your big sister is cool? Well, that's good. But you know, I like a lot of things. I don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? She gets McDonald's for everyone. That's really nice of her. I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Well, that's what big sisters are good for. Makes everyone clean up too. That's a good thing. Hey, Yuri. Uh, what about, you know, the first thing he said? Manga? 
That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. Not my friends. There, there is the most basic big sis to little bros. Oh, uh, okay. So, if Briseis wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Briseis? But maybe... Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we all can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little better too. I mean... That's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I... I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Uh... I... I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. Natsuki, are you saying that your big sister is like, you and your sister have like a very stereotypical relationship? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Snoopy, same. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrupt disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean... It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Oh, your friend and their sis? Oh, okay. Just... just you? Uh, uh... Would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go along, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Siori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. I don't know, Snoop. I think it's up to everyone to kind of figure out what they believe. There's... Darkness, you think? Yep. I think there's some sort of afterlife. I don't know... What it'll look like. But you gotta think that... I mean, it'd be... Ah, I don't wanna get too dark. Not after this game. Snoop, is this the time to contemplate what happens after death? There's only one way to find out. Don't. No. Don't. I don't think jokes like that are cool, though. Just, yeah. As long as an afterlife is with Monica Cantlin. It will look like that room with Monica, right, big bro, right? Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? It really is. I think everyone likes you too, Briseis. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. That's true. Maybe it's what you hope it will be. 
That would be my personal hell, right, big bro? <laughs> Aw, Briceus. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Right? Siri is good. <laughs> Aw, thanks, big bro. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Briceus, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No. <laughs> Not Sayori. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Briceus. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make it make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. No. Okay. God damn it, Sayori, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, what, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Ooh, it, it hurts. Ah, I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Siri. Goodbye, Bryceus. Goodbye, Literature Club. You did, Hale. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. to find that special day. Mm. 
What the fuck? This game is so freaking messed up. <laughs> it's so funny, like, they have Monica deleting all these pictures. It's a nice ending. You call that a nice ending? I didn't. Everyone dies. What could be better? Yeah. Special thanks, Monica and Bryceus. That's funny. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I saw the scenes with Sayori, yeah. Made with love. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. At the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time at last that I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for part being part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love. Monica. Books are bad. Got it. I <laughs> can't them. Ah, thoughts? What do you mean the best ending creative? Thank you, Silent. Okay. There's, I know there, there's, wait, there's multiple endings. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that on stream. I think that's gonna be a personal um, thing. There's a path to a good ending, but you can't do it on the first playthrough, okay. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Good-ish. Yeah, I feel like good. Oh, by the way, Damien Damas Damaske, Damaske, welcome in. Sorry, I didn't like greet you with a nice hi. I just like immediately was like, wait, tell me answers. I have questions. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'm that I'm good with it. Can't. I'll take a nice little break from that game for a while. Um, creative. Feel free to message me and let me know what ending you got. I would love to know. Um, I have, oh, my, I know Q asked me my thoughts. Um, my thoughts are, uh, that game was really messed up and, uh, 10 out of 10 would not recommend it to anybody, actually. You got the same one as me on oh, create a match. It's cute. Um, <laughs> 10 out of 10 would not recommend <laughs> I'm like I'm like I'm sorry all of you that came here because I'm playing this game they're like <gasps> they're probably like you don't you wouldn't recommend to other people to play Doki Doki no I wouldn't <laughs> I don't like it um 
How could anyone finish that game and be like, yep, 10 out of 10, we play again. You know what I mean? Like, you recommended it to so many people. Damien, why do you hate your friends? I'm just wondering. Why do you not like them? Do you not want them to be, like, a happy person? Caitlin, why best horror game you've ever played? <laughs> okay. They, see, I don't. <laughs> I don't mind kind of scary games, I don't know. Oh, no. Creative. Sorry. But here, let me do some music as we end this this thing out. You like trolling your friends? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, thank you guys for hanging out, though. I, I, uh, oh, that was weird. I have, like, a, a little laser thing, and so it, like, attacks my face. Anyway, so, um... Drawing stream is tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out, though. Um, I get that, Snoop, but... This one wasn't that bad. I, I would... I think... I think... I can't say... I, like is not the word. Like, I'm not mad I played this game. You know? Machoism aside, I related big time to Yuri and Sayori. I, so I think, it's hard to explain. Um, Natsuki was definitely someone that I unintentionally related to. Like, more like her, she'd get mad whenever someone, like, commented on how small she was. And she was kind of, like, angry. And she, like, elbowed the guy when he, like, complimented her or something like that. That's how I was, like, in high school, is if someone called me cute, like, if anything I did, they would say, oh, that's so cute. And I was like, I'm not cute. You know, I'm not doing it to be cute. I didn't like that. And because I was tiny and, like, people just assumed, like, everything that I did was, like, cutesy. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be cute. I'm just trying to exist. So I totally got that. I related to Natsuki for that. But um, with Sayori, I totally relate to the whole trying to keep everyone happy and trying to like, oh, Tyler, I'm really sorry my sound alerts aren't working right now, but I, I can do this one. Do, 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 do. Thank you for redeeming that. I am going to redeem, I, I'm going to refund everyone's points for um, anything that was redeemed tonight because nothing was working. But I'm going to fix that. Hopefully they'll be working tomorrow. Um, Siri, the depression, you're to escape escapism and her discomfort with people. Definitely. The way Sayori described her depression and the way that she described, like, how much she feels like a burden to people, I was like, oh, I, I, hate, I hate it, but um, when I get in my low points, it explained exactly how I felt. But, Tyler, it's good to have you in here. I'm sorry, I'm ending my stream, but it's good to see your name in here. Um, same creative. I need to go to bed. Goodness, Silent. You get some rest. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks. I'm glad you liked the reading. That game was a doozy. I don't like it. Not a fan. But it's done. And I'm definitely going to play it and see what other endings I can get in, like, in the future. Not, any, not in the near future, but, like, eventually, you know? Tyler, isn't it late for you? Oh, why are you up so late? Why are you up so late? Crazy? Yes, get some rest silent. Good night, silent. Let's see who we can raid. 2 a.m. That would be late for me. Night, Snoop. Okay. <laughs> five years or so exactly exactly okay let's see Rebster, good night
Oh yeah, I feel that, Tyler. That's definitely happened. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to see who is live that we can raid. What's up, Snoop? Cheese sauce. <laughs> Snoop. Okay, I think I know a good person to raid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. So, Priceous Birthday Bash and anniversary. So, just to let you guys know, um, my... Oh, the date's not on there. Oh, it is. Um, so, my anniversary is coming up on February 19th, and my birthday is March 1st. So, we're going to do one big celebration to commemorate the two things and it's gonna be lots of fun i'm gonna um i've been working on spring scenes so if you've been around you know that i have like my i've i drawn and animated i i draw and animate all of my art for my stream but um you can see like my intro my brb screen and my outro screens um, so when I start my screen, when I have to step away from my stream, and when I end my stream are all animated scenes, and I customize them every season. So I'm going to be launching my spring scenes on my birthday slash stream anniversary thing. Um, we're going to have sub incentives, so um, if anyone gifts any subs, there's going to be different things that um, will be kind of unlocked. Um, for the stream and for the community. Voltai. See, you can see the Voltai has been sad for 12 months. Look at the little rainbow sub badge. <laughs> it's so exciting. I love it. Um, so let's see. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm animating um, new alerts. So you know how, uh, you know how when like a stream event happens, someone raids me or follows me and all that, like I'm gifting a sub and subscribes, I have an alert that pops up. They weren't working tonight, but we'll get that fixed. Um, I'm going to be animating a little, like my little cat emote to be doing different things. So you'll be able to see some of that art tomorrow in the stream. And I'm really excited. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun things we're going to have. I'm going to try to make it as fun as possible. It's, it's gonna. It's the priciest birthday bash stream anniversary spectacular. So it's gonna be really, really fun, um, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also going to be launching. Oh, this is like one of my most exciting parts. So I'm gonna be launching limited edition, special edition, whatever you want to call it, um, celebrate celebration merch, and that's what the line that what the line is called. I'm using all these fancy marketing terms. But I designed special merch to help us celebrate um, one year on Twitch. And um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited. So, okay. Voltai, it is exciting. You're, I love your followage. So let's see. And two, 17 days? I can't do math. Yeah, in 17 days. In 17 days, you'll be um, following for a year. That's, isn't that crazy? Time flies, guys. Have a great night, creative. Thank you all for all the support. Thank you for the hype train tonight. And um, next stream will be tomorrow. And I will be drawing and animating.
So I'm excited and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Okay, so crazy. You guys, it's really awesome to have so many of you that have been here from way in the beginning. I know, big bro. It, okay, guys, I want, you, I want you guys to look real quick. Six minutes apart. They started following six minutes apart. That's so, oh my gosh. But I am, I am so honored that you guys would be here. And I cannot believe that we've been doing this for almost a year. So, um, that's, that really doesn't sound right to me. But here we are. Um, all right. Let's raid. We are going to raid. Um, dang it, I forget who I already was going to choose. I have to look at my list again. We're going to raid Artie. We haven't raided her in a minute, but she's a really awesome streamer. And I think you guys will... I know you guys will like her. So she's playing World of Warcraft. So... Alright. Okay. And by the way, if you are interested in keeping up with me off off of stream, uh thank you, big bro. Uh feel free to um follow me on any of those socials if you're on them. If you're already sick of me, then I really don't blame you, so you don't have to follow me there. Um but if you aren't sick of me yet and you want the latest um communication, you can hang out in the Discord. Um we, sometimes we have community nights or we have movie nights. And um, it can be it can be a cool place to hang out. So um, <laughs> uh, so feel free to hop in the Discord, and um, that's where you're gonna get the latest stream information from me and the most communication out of me. And it's a really awesome way to get to know the community, and it's a great opportunity for me to get to know who you are and um, share that space with you guys. So anyway, copy those raid commands, whichever one. You have access to if you're subbed, you can use the bricks. If you're not subbed, you can use purple hearts. Heck, if you're subbed and you just like purple hearts, then feel free to use it. Um, well, Snoop, I'm glad I could give you a reminder. <laughs> All right. Um, so copy and paste the raid command of your choice and get ready to paste it in when we do this raid. So uh, much love to you all, and I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? For that drawing stream. Same time, same place. All right. Night, everyone.